Hi you guys. So the time has come in our onion and garlic worlds to start looking for scapes. This is a scape. And this is one. And this is one. You can see the top. The top of it looks a little funny. And what is going to happen is if we allow that to grow up on its own, there's one I've trimmed, this will flower and this is where you get the seeds from to grow onion from seed. So it'll make a big beautiful white flower, black seeds will come out. They're like the size of peppercorn so they're pretty easy to gather. However, if we allow this to grow, if we allow these to keep growing like this, it's going to take energy away from forming the bulb and put it into reproduction, right? So we need to remove scapes if we would like to have a, the biggest possible bulb uh, for onions and cloves for garlic. So it's just as easy as looking at this part, the whole scape, following it down to about where it meets the, the base and trimming it off. There's another one. Do the same thing. They feel a little different. They look a little different. They're thicker than uh, these other ends and of course they've got the, the giveaway top on it. I always let some of mine go to seed so I've allowed these bigger ones down here. They're gonna open up and give me seed so I have one, two, three, four that I'm just gonna let go and when they bloom I'll collect the seeds so these bulbs themselves will be smaller than they could be. They're still gonna be pretty big. I like to collect the seed from the best plant I have. These are the biggest they're producing the quickest, so I want to keep that seed so it improves next year and the year after and the year after. Uh, so that's how you do onions right about now is when you're going to start seeing these. Go ahead and cut them off and keep them to cook. You can cut them into bits and stir fry them. I mean, they're, they're totally edible, So and the flowers themselves are as well, so it's kind of a fun thing to add to something you want to have a little onion or garlic flavor. So let's go look at a garlic scape because they're a little different. Alrighty, so looking at the garlic patch we have here and immediately we can see a big scape on my elephant garlic. These are the biggest garlic we have. I mean look at the size of these leaves. So these are like elephant garlic here and then the rest of these are regular garlic and they're also got nice big leaves. My garlic loves to grow in my garlic beds. So here is a scape, and look how skinny that is on the end, as opposed to this one. Different varietals look differently. And the scape on the garlic will be um, rounded, rounded like an onion. You can tell garlic the leaves are flat, where an onion's are rounded as well. And they're just, they're delicious. So keep some of them. But go ahead and, I mean, just keep some of them to eat. But you do want to remove these. If you allow a garlic to flower, you don't get seed like, well, you don't usually get seed like you do an onion. If you have garlic that's years and years and years old and it is now producing seed, then you have something really special. But if you plant garlic like most of us do and it just goes to seed, then it's... It's just going to um, give you bubbles, which are kind of tiny little garlic cloves that you can plant, but it takes a few years for them to grow, and it's a, it's a whole big thing. But if you have true garlic seed, then you do have something very special, and you probably have a new kind of garlic that you can um, cultivate in name and register and all that stuff. It's just, it's that rare. So with the garlic, I would suggest to everybody that you do like we did before. These are all scapes I've been showing you. Follow the scape down to where it meets the top of the plant. And just trim it with a scissors or a clippers. And then you have this 
long, beautiful piece. Oh, sorry, I've got a little leaf on it too. And you can just chop this up and stir fry it, put it in salads. So it's like garlic, a really gentle flavor of garlic. So there you have it. Now it's time to remove your scapes if you want to have bigger bulbs. If you want small bulbs for some reason, go ahead and just leave the scapes on. Or you can trim a few scapes at a time as you want to eat them. But it's a quick and nice and easy way to get your bulbs to grow bigger and it's delicious to eat. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.